Hello everyone, this is Lat with Teal Street. Today I'm doing a video tutorial on the hotkeys of the trading terminal. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and log in. And the first thing you'll want to do is navigate to the gear icon at the top right. Click that and go down to hotkeys. Here you can see all the actions we have and the hotkey assignments are listed in the fields. What you see here are the default hotkey assignments but you can simply delete and choose something else if you like. If you don't want to make a change and you want to go back to the defaults, you can simply click on Reset Hotkeys and that will take them back to the default hotkey assignments. For this video, I'm just going to use the default hotkey assignments and go through them kind of one by one to show you their actions. So I am on uh, FTX and I'm trading Cardano, ADA, because that's everyone's favorite coin, of course. One of the first hotkeys that I like to use is opening the chart symbol search, which we can use with uh, the letter L. And you'll see that it brings up this menu. It'll show you the fav your favorites list as well as all the different contracts you can trade by exchange. You'll notice that this is quite similar to this drop down that we have here, um, but some people find it a little bit more convenient to have a hotkey so they can search directly from here. Um, and that is nice for when you are trading on the full, full chart screen which enables you to choose without having to go back and forth. So one of the next hotkey assignments that I'm going to show you is what we have for limit at clicked price. So I'm going to go ahead and put one Cardano for each on the bid and the ask. And while holding down S, you can see that I've got one bid and one ask. Now these, uh, this action also works for the depth chart as well as the order book. So I can go ahead, let me zoom out a bit. And you can see the little yellow dots there and there for one bid and one ask. It also shows up on the chart. And if I zoom up a little bit on the order book, you can see my bids and asks there as well. Let me go ahead and cancel these. And let's use it on the order book. S. S. And you can see now how quickly I'm able to get some limit bids and asks on the book. The next hotkey we can use is buy at clicked price. This also works for the chart, order book, and depth chart. And this is just for buys. So I can use A and click. Now, if I use A and click above the price, you can see that I get immediately filled. And that's in part because I don't have post on and because I'm clicking above the current price here. So I'm getting filled kind of like a market order as a taker. So just bear in mind that that usually or almost always has the higher fee rate. Now I can do A again on the order book and the depth chart. You see the little dots there and here. You can click cancel there or you can cancel the buys there. Now let's use D which is sell at clicked price. So I can do that. D, D. And let's just go ahead and close it out. There you go. Now my position is closed. So Let's cancel the cells. The next hotkey I want to look at is set order price from chart. So what this will do is you can hold the hotkey assignment and click the chart to auto populate the price field uh, in the order module, which is here. So let's unclick the track function. Let's clear this out. Let's do one and I'm going to hold Z and you can see the price here is moving. And if I do that, you can see my last click with the hotkey has shown up in the price field and now it's there. 
So if I do this, then I can limit there. It's quite nice for choosing a price. Another great feature to use this hotkey is for stops. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel my buys and sells. I'm going to do one. And let's Z. And you can see that the stop price is changing. And there you go. Let's just go ahead and cancel that. Go back to limit. The next hotkey we can look at is the toggling hotkeys. There are three. And the first one to look at is the track price hotkey, which is E. And you can see now that the price field is going to track the top bid and the top ask for both, um, for both sides. If I hit E again, it turns off track and it will just stay in the last price that it showed up. Um, if I have one enabled and one disabled, you can see that using E will go back and forth. So let's click that. We can also change the offset of the track price. So you'll see that we have no offset here. So it's just following the top bid. Now with the move track price farther, hotkey assignment is F, you can see that it will start to have an offset. Now if I click that, you can see that the limit is now being placed at an offset of that amount from the top bid. We can change the offset to get closer with G. So watch that field. And we're back, back to no offset. One more, there you go. All right, let's go ahead and clear this out. Let those hit. The next thing that we can look at is the toggle post only hotkey. So you can see I don't have post only here. And if you're not familiar with post only orders, this ensures that uh, any order that you submit is going to rest on the books and it will not fill as a taker order. So for example, let's turn on the hotkey with Q. And let's just do this. Okay, and you can see that it was canceled as the price was higher than this field here. So if we track, now we'll actually hit the books and rest there. I'll show you again. Let's get this here. Let's use the um, set order price from chart. So we'll do something that's much higher. And then let's try and see there it was canceled. So because the order form had the price higher than the last traded price, it will not allow us to do a post only order. The next hotkey we can look at is toggle reduce, which is W for the default hotkey assignment. So you can see W turns it off and on. Let's go and do that. And this is going to work similarly to the track and post, where if you have one on and one off, then the hotkey will just go back and forth between the two. All right. So let's go ahead and turn that off. And we will use Z. Let me delete that. Z. So we get something down here. And we're going to look at the next hotkey, which is place a buy order. So this will be Alt Shift A. And you can see we now have a buy order down here where we were clicking. Now let's use a ask. Going to use Z. And then we're going to use Alt Shift D. And you can see where I was clicking. Now we get a, a sell a limit order or an ask up here where I was clicking. All right. The next hotkey we can look at is the cancel recent order. The default assignment is X. So this will be canceled and then this will be canceled. 
so you can go one by one. Now, another hotkey assignment we have is cancel buy orders. So let me place a few buys or a few bids down here. And the hotkey assignment for cancel buys is U. So this will cancel all these resting bids. And there you go. We can also use the cancel cell orders, which the default hotkey assignment is I. I'm going to place some cells and use the default hotkey assignment I. And there you go. All right, now let's do some buys and sells. Might be going a little too fast. So canceling all active market orders is O. So that will cancel both the buys and the sells, the bids and the asks. And there you go, both are gone with O. Now we need to look at the next hotkey, which is cancel all orders. So I'm going to place some orders here, place some orders here. I'm going to place a stop. I'm going to do two. I'm going to use the stop sell there. Now let's go to a different market. Place a couple bids, place a couple asks, and let's go back to Cardano. So you can see that we have five uh, resting orders for Cardano, and we also have some resting orders on ZRX, a total of nine orders. So let's use the hotkey assignment P to see what happens. Now you can see that all of the open orders on Cardano and ZRX, as well as the stop on Cardano was canceled. So this will cancel all orders across your active accounts, uh, including orders for other symbols. Now, the next hotkey we want to look at is buy at the top of the book. So maybe you're trading without track price on and you want to get a bid quickly uh, at the top or an ask quickly. So to buy, we're going to use control alt a, and you can see it should get to the top of the book, but if the price is moving quite quickly, it might not look like it's at the very top bid. And then we have control alt D for it selling at the top of the book, which is control alt D. There you go. You can see it hit the top of the book, a buy control alt a. Control all D, Control all A. Okay. And the next hotkey we can look at is the auto populate position size. Now this, this hockey is one of my favorites. I use it all the time. I find it most effective when setting stops. Um, if you trade with stops, it's a great hotkey to get used to and utilize. So maybe you have a number of different positions open and you need to step away from the computer. This allows you to quickly uh, calculate the stop uh, amounts or sizes that you need. So let's just clear this out. And you can see I have three Cardano. Um, so I want a three Cardano stop. What I'm going to do, click K, press K, and you can see that three show up here. So let's do um, a couple more couple more buys here. All right. So now I have seven Cardano. We'll go back here. It still shows three, but if I press K again, now it shows seven and I can quickly set a stop right there. The next hotkey that we can look at has to do with the scaled orders of Teal Street. So you can see here that I've got hotkey for the uh, top price and I'm using the percent so you can see now I've got a nice hundred Cardano scaled order preview showing up here I haven't submitted it yet 
Um, but what I can do is move it around with N and M. So if I want to move the whole block, I'm going to use M. If I can get it to work. And you can see with M, I'm able to move the entire block rather than just one at a time. So you can see if without a hotkey, it works like that. And with the hotkey, I can move the entire thing. Now well, let's move it to this. The next hotkey is N, and this is to modify a single order. So for example, if I want to move one of the ones in the middle, press N and move that down there. And there you go. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this and show you another way to do the scaled orders. And that is the hotkey with the default assignment T. And this allows you to quickly do a scaled order. So if I hold T and click twice, now I just get to choose the top and the bottom for the scaled order. So I'll show you again. This time let's click here and here. And you can see now I've quickly got a scaled order very, very fast just based on the chart. Okay. So I believe that that is all of the hotkeys. Um, let me just look at my list again real quickly. All right, so let's uh, one final note on these scaled orders. So let me just do one real quick. Now, one hotkey you can use to submit a scale by, and this only works if the preview is active. This is a preview. You can see it says preview. So we can submit the by with Alt Shift A. And there you go. The scaled order is now has gone from the preview to submitted. So let's switch to a cell really quick. I'm going to do 50. I'm going to use Z to get the top. Let's take a look, a little preview. Okay. Go down here, here. And to submit the cell, uh, we can use Alt Shift D. And there you go. Takes a second, but it submits from preview to the entire cell of the scaled order. So that will complete today's video on hotkeys. I appreciate, uh, appreciate everyone uh, listening in. And if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to join our Discord. I'm going to post a couple links in the description below. Thanks again.